Well, you may have seen a previous video I did with Peter about the new sin bin and how you mustn't dissent this man. <laughs> but I want to do an item about you about being a referee because there's been some terrible... I've, I've watched a couple of games and I don't watch them that many. Yeah. When you seriously think, why on earth do you want to put yourself through that? Mm-hmm. Because, you know, it's not a lot of money, is it? Let's face it. No, I think it's not, not for the money. It's, no. it's how you enjoy it. I mean, for me, it's always been... Uh, and I've been refereeing for so long now. Uh, it's about the physical side of things. So you're out there twice a week, once a week, doing some extensive uh, workouts. But also, it takes your mind, you must concentrate your mind on exactly what's going on. So, mm. yeah, if there's something at work that was bothering you a bit or anything else, you can forget all that because you've really got to concentrate on those 22 players for mm. that 90 minutes. And that's been really good for me all the years. Okay, so looking for new people, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, where did you get them? Are they past players? Is that a good place? Or was it someone that doesn't actually get involved in football? Uh, I, I think it's... I, Typically, someone who's really enjoyed football. Sometimes people are football players. We've got some great guys that have come back and have done lots of, uh, lots of football themselves and playing, and now they've become referees. That's been superb, seeing those through. But also, we're looking at youngsters hmm. coming through, so talking to the schools, talking to the colleges. In fact, we've got three or four teachers who are referees as well. But obviously, we go through the thing on the island, which is a bit different, that once they reach university age, they're normally going off island and they carry on their refereeing there, but do they come back to the island? Mm. So we do a lot of work in trying to help those people out, but we're really looking for some more referees because you know, over time, you know, age gets to people. You can see my hair's a little bit grey, the same as yours. <laughs> um, you know, I'm still doing my games, but you know, there are times when people get injuries, and if you get injury when you're a little bit older, then it takes a lot longer to come back. So um, there are people leaving the island, some new people coming in, but it's a matter of boosting that number of referees because there's a lot of really good football here on the island. Uh, back to what I started with though, people get abuse out there. I know you've got these more protection now, but it's, yeah. you know, you make a decision and you have to stand by that decision and you've yeah. got other people screaming and yelling or potentially <laughs> questioning your abilities. Well, <laughs> yeah, and it's good to build up that side of things and we do a lot of training with, with people, but these changes in, with the sim bins are actually very, very helpful because that should take a lot of that and it has done already um, across. Mm. Uh, it's taken a lot of these problems away and it's made that relationship between the referee and the, and the players a lot better and I think that's going to help. Okay. Well it does get paid, not a lot but it does get paid and that's, yep. if, if that's anything for Saturday <laughs> afternoon just to think about. Um, if people want more information or do they go through a process, how does it work? Yeah I mean if they, they contact initially uh, Kevin Maitland um, at the Isle of Man FA, the numbers are all mm-hmm. there on, on their website etc and he'll put them in, in touch with, with us to get some training done for them so it's, specific training that gets them to that level and then we'll be helping them we'll give them mentors to help them through the first few games and whenever they need some help we'll provide that support to them because without a referee a game can't happen well that's that's very very true and uh, you know with the number of games we have every week on the Isle of Man uh, not just at senior level but kids football as well um, that really needs referees to, to help them we need those people we need to get get more through have you ever been in a situation where you are literally you know short <laughs> well we've been very very close to that and uh, sometimes the weather has helped by taking a few games away Um, but it is getting very tight and it's important to get some new referees out there and we're really interested in, in getting them to come and talk to us and get that training and go out there and enjoy themselves.